This is an interesting child's toy that I've come across that I'm interested in because it illustrates some principles of physics. This device is from Crayola, the crayon makers, and it's called the Neon FX Light Board. I have another one here too, same sort of product. This one is branded Discovery Kids and it's called the Discovery Drawing Easel. This device has an internal light source. There's a main power switch in the back right here. And then there's a, another power button in the front. And you can see there's a, there's a row of LEDs along this side. And the light is transmitted through this sheet of plastic. But the sheet of plastic itself appears to be dark and that's because almost all of the light is being trapped inside of the plastic through a phenomena called critical angle. The way this toy is intended to be used is you take these marking pens that have a, a liquid gelatinous material in them and it gives this very bright color If I turn off the light, you'll see, pretty bland. If you turn it back on, it, they light up as if they are iridescent. The effect is much more profound if you turn the lights out. And try it again. Turn on the light. You can just see how intense that brightness is. They appear to be glowing in the dark. So how does this work? The light is bouncing back and forth inside of this plastic sheet, trapped there by the critical angle phenomena. And when you apply this liquid material to the surface, it allows the light to escape. First, we need to talk about the index of refraction. Light travels at the speed of light in a vacuum. And that is typically symbolized by the letter C. However, when it passes through a transparent medium, it slows down. We apply the symbol V for the speed of light in this other medium. And the ratio of the two gives us N, which is the index of ref refraction. So the slower light travels in a transparent medium, the higher the index of refraction. Now, these are some typical index of refractions. Of course, again, in a vacuum, the speed of light is the speed of light. So the ratio is 1.0000 by definition. Now, in the atmosphere, it's only slightly higher than a vacuum. But as we go down the scale, we see water and glass and very high index refraction in diamond, which, by the way, is the reason why diamonds sparkle, this very high index of refraction. Because of the change in velocity of light through a medium, it also changes angle. So here we have an example of this. On the one side, it's air. The other side, it's water. We could think of this for all practical purposes as a vacuum. The angle decreases as we pass from air into water. Conversely, it increases as we travel from water to air. And that angle can be expressed through this formula. So the index of refraction times the sine of the incident angle equals the index of refraction of the material times the sine of the angle of the material. This is called Snell's law. If the source of the light is from within the medium, in this case the plastic sheet when the light hits the surface, the angle is going to increase. However, it can't go beyond 90 degrees. If the, if the angle of incidence causes this angle to be greater than 90 degrees, we get total internal reflection. The light cannot escape. And this formula is how we calculate the critical angle, with theta sub c being the critical angle. And here we have this phenomena demonstrated using a variety of different angles. Obviously, if the light is perpendicular to the surface, it's going to come straight out. Now, as the light hits with increasing angle, as you can see, 
the light is bent more and more until we hit this. The critical angle at this incident angle, our formula results in 90 degrees. That is the critical angle, and instead we get a total internal reflection. All the light comes back at us, none of it escapes. And any angle greater than theta sub c is going to result in complete internal reflection. Now here we have an illustration of this sort of phenomena. In the case of our toy, the light source is at this end of the plastic sheet, and the light enters from this surface, and then it just bounces back and forth, being trapped inside of the plastic sheet. Now if we apply a substance to the surface here, which has an index of refraction higher than air, that will allow the light beams to cross this surface into that substance and then from there out into the air. And that's what's happening when we apply the gel markers to the surface of the plastic sheet. They appear to be glowing from light which appears to be emanating from inside of the gel itself. Now we go back to the light board. So we need to apply a medium to the surface which will allow the light to escape. So why don't we try a little bit of, say, water. I've applied water to the surface, and yet I'm not seeing any light. Why is that? Well, because in addition to allowing light to escape, you also have to scatter the light so that it comes at us in our direction. The light is actually escaping, but it's just coming off at a very steep angle. In fact, on our sheet of paper here, you can see this bright spot right here, that's the light coming out of that droplet of water. It's coming out at a very, very steep angle where we can't see it. We need some way to, to get the light out, but also to scatter it. So I thought, well, how about a little ketchup? I put a little ketchup on there. Well, look at that. Now, we do see brightness. Why is that? Because ketchup is basically a suspension of tiny food particles and the light is reflecting off of those red food particles to give us that red color. So not only do we need light to escape, but we also need for it to scatter. And that's what these gel markers do. The light is getting out, but it's also being scattered inside of that gel material. And we can lower our lights to appreciate it a little bit better. We have a simple child's toy here, sold under a number of different brand names which demonstrates a number of very interesting physical phenomena. So hopefully your child is learning more than just how to use marking pens. Perhaps your child will grow up to be a great physicist. Well, that's how one of these light box toys works. So, now you know.